You're killing it on YouTube Shorts. Like, maybe you could teach me something about like what it is you look for in like a spot or something. Like the you're... main thing I usually do is I look for bangers. You know, so like if you're going to start off with this tree spot or something, start with something that'll. Oh whoa whoa whoa, whoa 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 man! What is that? Oh, oh my whoa. goodness! Man, you down to get chased by some drones? Hell yeah! Hello. So we are joined here today by Peter FBV, legendary freestyle pilot, YouTube Shorts extraordinaire. Um, he's going to show us how to make a proper short. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, what's up? I'm PDevX, and this man, he needs no introduction. This is one of the most popular FPV freestyle pilots in the whole world, Peter FPV, and he's been gracious enough to join us and show us a little bit about how he does his shorts and reels, because you are absolutely killing it on YouTube and Instagram. I do okay. Is there like certain techniques you have when you go out to try to capture your shorts? So when I do my shorts, yes, I always have like the, my own little techniques. I always try to plan a little line because planning, I mean, I do try to wing it, but people like when you're coming in with a bang. So I'd like to try to plan that bang a little better. Okay, okay. So that's what I try to like go forth when we're doing my shorts. And usually we just rip and have fun throughout the whole day, me and my friends. And I just try to go through the clips and I'm like, okay, this is the start of this clip. This is the start of that. And I think what we could do is like, we'll try to get a couple clips together. Okay. Like maybe we'll post one to your channel and then we'll post one to, to the Rotor Riot channel. channel. Awesome. Well, yeah, this is, I mean, this is going to be a real treat because you don't really get to see behind the scenes of like how these things come together. You only ever see like the final, you know, short clip. A lot of people think I don't crash because I mean, I hardly post uh, fail clips, but I crash a lot guys. I'm crashing like a dozen times every single day. And ooh, hey, everybody I'm repairing crash. all, everybody crashes. I'm repairing every single Single day, yep. One of the things that I really struggle with with like shorts and reels is that it's usually vertical video. Yeah. And we shoot in 69 with our GoPros, and so I'm like, how like how do you decide on like how to fill that frame? Because you don't always necessarily want to crop your 69 down. Yeah, you to, don't. Yeah, you don't. You know? I love my stick hand, so this is I always use a GoPro 8 to record or a GoPro whatever. Um, I love stick hand just because I like people seeing the radio. They ask a lot of questions. They interact with me about it, and they also hear my audio. You know, so they also yeah. hear my friends interact. Everybody around me, and they're all engaging, and it's it's, it's amazing for them. So they all like it. So you, you're not cropping in as much on the flight yep. video itself. Yep, exactly. So that's yeah, exactly. So you just good. Yeah. and I just resize it all, you know, and just crop it all, and everybody loves it. You guys love it. Thank you guys for everything. Short content can be a little bit tough. And it definitely is tough trying to capture the audience's attention because the first thing you gotta do is you gotta start off with like kind of a banger, you know? You gotta start off and the audience are already, the first three seconds gotta be everything, you know? They gotta be already attracted to the video. They gotta be wanting to interact. They wanna be wanting more. You gotta feed them more, you know? So that's what we're trying to do here. Right now we're gonna start off with a banger. We're gonna have the, the bike come in and then everybody's gonna be like, whoa, blown away. So let's try that out, guys. How's video for you? Video is good for me right now. You? Copy? Good enough. Good enough. Good enough. I could uh, I could go down. No, and, no, uh, you're good. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're not freestyling. Ready? You want? You're following me behind me? Uh, I turned around. I'm on the bridge. Where are you starting the the grind? Where are you? Is he following me? Right? Yeah, but where are you? Right, right behind the biker. Oh, you're behind the biker. Mm -hmm, about to grind. Oh, I thought you were gonna grind it. Yeah, I'm gonna grind the rail and then. So you're uh, grinding the whole thing. Oh, I see. See me? Gotcha. Let right. me know when you're behind me. I'm behind you. All right, ready? Well, the Come side on. of you. Come on, slow. Go. Go! Go! Man, I, I had to bail. Yeah, I had to go. I had to bail. Reset! Reset! I got really blocky right there. Woo! Oh, cool, I'm ready. And action! Okay, and then around the slow down right now. outside orbit. Oh, well, I just went, I didn't orbit him, but. It's 
funny because I'm, I'm focused on the bike, but then I'm like, oh no, it's the quad I'm supposed to be watching. Oh yeah, that's here. Ooh, you did a little kick right there. It's like I'm chasing Peter right now. Oh, that was so sick. That was too much speed going down the stairs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's sick. I like going through the trees. So where are the spots that you slow down? You slow down on here. I slow down here. Yeah, I slow down when I turn down the hill. Yeah, so, like, so, so go. Yeah. Because yeah, there's a lot of like stuff you can pick up right there. That'll be nice. Yeah. I'll be loose. <laughs> yeah, I'll be loose. Yeah, yeah. It might oh, slide out. Oh, yeah, be careful. With, yeah, the, with the pine straw, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's true, yeah. Oh, that's sick. I went right through the rail, too. Man, I had to bail. Did you? Yeah. I'm going to catch Okay, I went right through the rail. That was sick. Oh, no. oh I got a nice close up shot of the side right there. I'm on it now. Alright. Damn it! We were just intending to get a few FPV clips, but then we ran into Max here. Max, also known as Dirty Dactyl on Instagram, kicking up some dirt, kicking rocks out, getting doing wheelies, and we were just like, "This is the perfect opportunity." We gotta follow him with the drone. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, he was kind enough to agree to let us uh, do a few chase shots. So now we are here at this college, and we have found this kind of crazy library. We've got all these windows that are just like in this crazy circle and so what we're thinking is this is the perfect place to do a chase you see the circle so it's almost obvious like an orbit yeah so what I see to grab someone's attention uh, maybe we could incorporate the orbit but we can't start with the orbit we have to start with something like nice and fresh so maybe if we like standing in the middle have both of the quads on the separate ends facing us that way the we're in view people when we start off with the like the short with people in view and we're in our gear they'll be like what are they doing back to back and then we just start off real quick pop up orbit each other and then while we orbit we open our orbit and go into that and then just yeah spin out real quick it'd be cool to get like a chase shot too where i'm like right on you right behind right yeah, yeah 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 like trade off that, so i'm like mm -hmm. going slow down yeah now i am this is wild right like, my head is just like turning you guys are both caught what if you guys are leaning so far i gotta bail oh that was so much Woo, that's good though, right? That's That was insane, man. There was a couple times when we got so close to each other, I thought we were gonna nick each other, but man. Oh, see, I couldn't see you. You were, <laughs> I was, yeah, you were behind you, so. <laughs> okay, so we got the shot. Or, yeah, I think we got the, the essence of us, you know, being in the middle together, being close, that being on the edge, yeah. riding right there, man. I think it's gonna be that's, good. I think it's gonna that be second uh -huh. run, that second run where we would start off slow, I think that was a good way to do yeah, it. Yeah, then that, we talked Right when out. I was right behind you, yeah, that yeah. chase thing is gonna be like, And we get that audio, the back yeah, and yeah, forth, yeah, like talking about it. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, perfect. Back and forth and going the woo! I noticed you kind of like narrate the videos a little bit too. Yeah, so it's like yeah, you're letting mm -hmm. the viewer kind of know what's coming up, yep, what to mm -hmm. expect. Yep, and I do. Uh -huh, like yeah. stick around. Yeah, so yeah you know, exactly. Yeah, like, that, that I'm way going you... for this dive. Uh -huh. I'm going to go to do this trick. So yep. yeah, I, I yep. love the commentary mm -hmm. that comes yeah. in. So now what I do is 
is I take the SD card, go back home, put it in the computer, and what we do is chop it up, where we got, get, get the best segments out of there. I take both clips, I take the top segment, which is my uh, flight video, and I take the bottom, which is stick cam. I stick them both together, and I don't do much color grading, I only do color correction, I try to do the basic stuff, that way I keep it easier for me and ready to go on to the next one. Once you've got the stick cam and the main camera in the timeline, you've got to line those up. In the beginning, I always, you know, to sync up both videos, I always say like, oh, this is the... I always say my build, this is the Apex with the F60 motors with the TPU mount or whatever, yeah. just so I can know what build I'm flying. And then after that, I arm and I line up the arm audio. You look at the two waveforms for the audio. Yeah, the waveforms, that's what I like. Yep. Where they match up. Yep. Okay. I try to keep only at least 30 or less percent of the video just to stick him, and then the rest, I just put it all on, uh, on, the, on the GoPro. Okay, for perfect, the, yeah, because you, you wouldn't want half and half. Yeah, right? you wouldn't want half and half, you don't need much. I mean, I've been thinking about also scaling my stick cam down and mm -hmm. adding, you know, like we were talking about adding the horizontal GoPro view oh, on there. Yeah, 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 that way I could have a more of a more of a look and more resolution, but I haven't got to that yet, but I'm thinking about making the transition to that. That way I add a little bit less stick time. I still add the commentary because that, that's very important for people. People want to hear that. People want to see you guys having fun and yeah. they want to be in there with you guys. So, so now, show them your camera. You are running an OG session yeah, 5 yeah, yeah. still. Yeah, session yeah, 5. Yeah, so this yes, only shoots in 16.9. You can't do any real steady on it, really. Mm -hmm. uh, or at least it doesn't like it. Greatest. People are always surprised that I film in 1080p, 30, 30 frames per second. 1080p? Like, yeah, 1080p. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I am glad that I got to use this uh, Hero 11 Mini today because I shot in the 8.7 aspect ratio, and I'll be able to do like a vertical cropped real steady clip okay so that was awesome make sure that you check out both of the clips we'll have links in the description to peter's channel and to the short on the rotoriot channel thank you so much peter for joining us it was just a pleasure it was amazing we've got a few more videos with peter um, he's hanging out for the week with us uh, make sure you go check out rotoriot.com give us a like give us a comment down in the comment section i'm pete fx i'm peter fpv and we'll, we'll see, see you, you next time, time on rotoriot, rotoriot.